Okay, well, I just hardboarded this, and I'm just hooking it up and testing it all out. Took some pictures of it. And that's the entire unit. I substituted my antenna for a plasma spark gap. Works great. Um, works absolutely perfect. There is the wave. It's under load. 1.473 under load. And output is 2.3 volts. This fancy dancy little board has a switch on it to turn the RF recharge on and off. It has a bridge rectifier on it for the output of the coil. It has the RF antennas on board. It has the transistors in the pot. And there are all the wires to hook up any jewel thief and test what jewel thief perform the best. And there's everything. My scope is on there. My scope is rectified after the bridge. And that's my wave. Now, I will turn on the RF recharge. It's quick and simple as clicking a switch. Still got my LEDs on, my load. Output is 1.4, 1.5 and growing. Now battery is 1.484, 85 and charging. I'll flick this off and allow you to watch the meter. The recharge is turned off, so now it's just a jewel thief powering the LEDs, right? Flashlight. Good and bright, too. Good and bright. They're nice and bright. Okay. It's drawing out of the battery. We'll switch it over. Right away, recharge mode. Still have light, you know, night light or something. Daytime, nighttime. I don't know. You can have a switch on it, disconnect it, whatever. 1.4 volts. 1.485 and charging. If I disconnect this, it will charge faster. Come on. Oh, there we go. It's out. 1.486, my voltage, 28.4. Battery voltage climbing. Load disengaged. Flashlight turned off. The project box I was thinking of mounting it in. Anyhow, it's charging, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Again, turn on the recharge. Voltage climbs big time. Output climbs. And it's uh, still recharging now with no load on it. So it'll recharge faster. Much faster. You can see my voltage climbed right up. So that is the unit. The battery's in behind the board. That's it. See ya.